Tonight's television show and every year for the last many years we have brought in their complete anthology of recipes, meaning up through the current season TV season, we've included every recipe in a book from every show up to that point. Well, for the last few years, this book has sold out time and time again. Well, today this is the book that includes the current ninth season of the television show. Already 1,200 books are gone. The lady you see pictured right here is about to join me. Julia Davison is back. How Hello. are you, friend? So Mwah. nice to see you. What you need to know about Julia, if you are not familiar with the show, is that Julia is a walking food encyclopedia. <laughs> if I ever have the least little question about how to cook something, which ingredient <laughs> is best, I email my friend Julia, <laughs> and she always knows the answer. Mm -hmm. She's not the only one in America's Test mm -hmm. Kitchen. You've got a team of chefs that work with we you. We have over 30 cooks. You guys do all the work yep. and make us home cooks look like stars. Well, that's our whole goal. We make the mistakes so the home cook doesn't have to. So when right. we're making chili, like this chili con carne, we'll make this up to 50 times, tweaking it this way and that way, so you always get the best chili and you know what you're doing. And every recipe is guaranteed to work. I have America's Test Kitchen and Cook Country books in my kitchen. I consider them my cooking Bibles. Yes. Because if mm -hmm. I need a great recipe for X, I go to your book because I know the recipe is going to work and it's going to be amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is chili con carne. Yes. What's your secret to good chili well, con carne? Well, this is an easy chili con carne. Oh, I have a fork here. And, well, of course, chili con carne is chili with meat. <laughs> that's with right. Meat, right. And so it's chunks of meat. So you start out with chunks of beef chuck, which comes from the shoulder, and then you braise it really slowly. But you use chili powder and a little mm -hmm. bit of uh, chipotles and adobo. Mm -hmm. And the thickener, get this, What's the is a little bit of cornbread mix. Cornbread mix. Yes, because traditionally chilies are thickened with masa, but that can be hard to track down. But just a little bit of cornbread mix, good to go. Honey, this is amazing. Isn't that good? So good. That's award winning chili right there. <laughs> yes, it mm. is. Okay, now 2,000 books are gone. This is flying. Mm. All right, this is probably my favorite recipe on the table. Okay, I have to make a confession. It's fried chicken. Before the show. Did you eat some already? Uh, if you look in that basket over there, you'll see <laughs> one side's all ripped off because I took a big old piece. These are your fried. Um, ranch chicken? That's right, it's ranch chicken. So ranch chicken, you want the flavors of buttermilk, which is easy to get in fried chicken, right. but you want the flavor of fresh herbs. Now fresh herbs, their flavor is fleeting. So by using boneless chicken thighs, it's a fast fry, so you taste all those fresh herbs, mm -hmm. and it's chicken thighs, so they stay good and juicy. I can't wait, mm -hmm. honestly, to dive into that basket when we're okay. done here. All I need to say is this. <laughs> Ready? Happy dance, happy dance, that's the ranch fried yeah, chicken. Yes. Now dip it in some ranch dressing. Oh, right there. How are you there's, doing? There's, All right. little, there's a little dip there All if right. you want. Now, okay. Miss uh, Julia. Yes. There are 360 recipes mm -hmm. in this book. Every single recipe has a color photo. Absolutely. So every single recipe comes with a picture. You're going to know exactly what your recipe should look like. You're also going to get on some recipes progressive photos. Because remember, the folks at America's Test Kitchen will tell you how to prepare the food and show you pictures on how to get the best results. They'll also give you great advice on uh, different products that you find That's that are better right. than others. Mm -hmm. Here's the perfect way to slice uh, an avocado for good guacamole. That's right. So many great ideas and every single recipe was featured on the show. Mm -hmm. Every single recipe has a color photo. Every single recipe is 100% guaranteed to work in your kitchen. Just follow the recipe, trust the recipe, and trust America's Test Kitchen and Cook's Country. Love, love, love this book. All right, I picked up this bread. I, so I'm the one that does this bread on the show this season. You have to rip it off with your hands. Oh, okay. This bread is a spicy, cheesy bread from what? Wisconsin, from uh, Madison, Wisconsin. It's, oh, I see the cheese. Yeah, it's rolled up in there. Oh, Mary, don't look. There are a lot of, there are a lot of gluttons <laughs> over here. <laughs> and it's so good. And so and they're known for making this cheese bread, and people just walk around in a daze eating this cheese bread at the farmer's market. That's why. It's warm. It's cheesy. Oh, I know. Isn't it? It is amazing. And it's a really easy dough to make. But it's this thing that makes Cook's this Country so... This is the best so, bread I've ever eaten. I know. Are you and kidding me? I know. There's cheese. Oh, I know. That's why I wanted you to try some. Mm. It's nice and warm. Mm. And the best mm. of all... Mm, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really easy to make, and it's those kind of regional recipes that make Cook's and Country amazing. And you call it spicy. I taste the flavor, but it's not hot spicy. Oh, no, no, it's just a little flavorful. bit of Flavorful. Flavorful. Yeah, isn't yeah. that amazing? Oh, my gosh. Three, how many books are 
almost 4,000 books are gone. All right. 1,700 people. Mm. This is milk yes. chocolate cheesecake. Well, so we set out to develop a chocolate cheesecake, and what we found was that cream cheese and chocolate aren't a natural pairing. They really fight each other in flavor until we went to milk chocolate. Milk chocolate and cream freeze, they are fast okay, friends. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Chocolate cookie crust. Oh, yeah. Milk chocolate cheesecake. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. I make this on the show this year, too. Hold my hand. Sway with me. <laughs> oh, no. Sway with me. <laughs> I might have to stick my finger in the cheesecake and have a little Baby with girl, you. You need to get all oh, up in it. I you know what? I put a clean fork into that and then ate it, so you <laughs> have, a, have some of that. Oh, I've been waiting. So, so good. You oh. guys, we are unbelievably busy. Mm. 4,500 books are gone. 2,000 mm. people on the phone lines. This bread, if you don't make anything else, make this bread. <laughs> the Wisconsin cheese look, bread. Look, 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 Oh, it's just so good. Oh, you're making, oh, you're making a good old-fashioned mess of that. Uh -huh. Right in the mouth. Mm -hmm. I know. I could eat that whole loaf myself easy. You know what I would eat this with? Oh, anything? Your yes. foot? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'd eat it with bubble gum. Are you kidding? Um, I would eat this with a big crock of French onion soup. Oh, that'd be good. Or with, with your chili. Yes. Or in a beef stew, oh. chicken and dumplings. I'd die and go stop, to heaven. Stop, stop. Stop just it. Stop, stop it. Just Everybody stop. Just stop. All right, All right. Here you go. Red velvet cake. I know. I know it's one of your favorites. But this is. is the ultimate version. Now, we made over 100 red velvet cakes to come up with this recipe. So it makes a good red velvet cake, a little bit of buttermilk, a little bit of vinegar. And that's what gives that's it. That's interesting. It, vinegar. It, yeah, it makes a, or traditionally it's what made it red. But it also gives it a really delicate flavor. And, of course, there's cocoa in there mm. for color and for flavor. I mean, that is with it a, melts on your tongue. Yes. The chocolate doesn't yes. overwhelm the icing, which mm -hmm. doesn't overwhelm the flavors. That's in the it. That's amazing. Yeah, now that's what a red velvet cake should be delicate oh. with a little cocoa flavor. My producer said something. What did you say, Sean? Highly recommend QVC.com. Mm -hmm. Best way to get through right now. 6,000 books, oh. seven layer, ultimate seven layer dip. This yeah. is the best version. Because you've seen uh, examples of this dip, you know, in magazines, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's all canned goods or whatever. This one, you're making your own refried beans, just with canned black beans, your own mm. guacamole. Mm -hmm. I know, on a Frito, come on. Mm, come on. <laughs> mm. Can we talk about mm. French coconut mm -hmm. cream pie? Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So oh. on the end, Judy, is mm -hmm. the coconut cream pie, all the way on the other end of the right table on the other side of the chicken. Yep, and I make this this season on the show. This is another one of yours. It okay. is, and it's um, it's a classic Southern dinner. It's a coconut pie that's in a custard base. And very oh. often the coconut gets a little harsh, but we soak the coconut in buttermilk. So it's a buttermilk oh, coconut wow. custard. My mother makes a buttermilk pie. Yes. It's, so it's probably similar. It yeah. is, yep. <clears throat> it's coconutty and custardy at the same time. <laughs> if you're a coconut fan, it's Are it's, you it's, kidding me? Yes, isn't that good? <laughs> <laughs> you crack me up. Oh. Y'all gonna have to wheel me out of here, kid. <laughs> but I'm taking the pie with me. Um, <laughs> all right, so don't miss out on these. These are amazing. Mm -hmm. 8,000 books are gone now. Um, we also want to let you know that this book includes every recipe from every show <coughs> of the season or uh, every show since the series started. Every recipe we've ever done on the show. From all nine seasons. Mm -hmm. And the ninth season is the one you're in right now. That's so right. that's what's so exciting about this book. And it's under $20. There's a photo with every single recipe. What is this? This is just a classic uh, Sunday roast beef. The trick is knowing which cut to buy. And it's not a fancy cut. It's uh -huh. a sirloin. But uh -huh. you let it sit with salt overnight. Uh -huh. And then it is the best roast beef. And the gravy is super interesting. Oh, uh -huh. you can't stop eating that cheese. Bread. This bread is isn't that amazing and it's recipes like this that makes cook's country just what it is it's regional recipes that all of us need to know about so <laughs> not to mention we have a whole bunch of slow cooker recipes slow cooker. and you know what? we're, we're going to be into the fall soon yep slow cooker recipes real quick mm -hmm. what is this this is baked ziti now the key to oh, making bread with a baked ziti yeah the key to making a baked ziti in a slow cooker is one you toast the pasta in a in the pot and that prevents it from becoming mushy and also you can't see it but there's a little ring of foil in there that protects it from I've heard burning you say that before. yeah so we do a lot of 